program, they don't just demand toil and sweat, they want blood as well. Oh, and this vicious, if you can see it, self-inflicted wound is just to remind you of something we all take for granted. Bleeding stops. The leak in these damaged, damaged blood vessels will be plugged by the blood inside, turning into a kind of jelly or clot. You can probably see it there. If it didn't, then the pinprick could make me bleed to death. But the blood's constant readiness to form into clots means that they can sometimes form where they shouldn't. This is a slow-motion X-ray showing a heart actually in the middle of a heart attack. A blood clot is lodged up here. And if we freeze this for a moment, you can see that the artery here has been reduced to a mere trickle. In fact, this artery ought to be as thick as this one. So the muscles down at this end and all the way up here are being damaged. At the moment, the heart can keep on beating, but it's beginning to suffer permanent damage to this area of muscle, and if that clot doesn't dissolve, the damage could spread and be fatal. Well, the body does, in fact, have a system of dissolving clots, but in many cases, it doesn't work quickly enough. But in the future, more people could survive a heart attack because a new drug has been developed that stimulates that natural system. Now, to understand how it works, it's necessary to know a bit about how clots are formed and how they're broken down. The blood itself carries most of the chemicals for doing this, but they're controlled by substances produced in the walls of the blood vessels. If the wall is damaged like that, even slightly, it releases a substance that triggers a chain reaction, ending with blood chemicals joining together to produce a tough fibrous net, the blood clot. Meanwhile, another substance is released by the undamaged blood vessel walls, and this prevents the net from growing too large. But more important than that, when the damage has healed, it triggers the clot to be broken down again. Usually, this system is perfectly balanced, and it's not known why it sometimes goes wrong so that a clot forms where it shouldn't. But one way of getting rid of a dangerous, unwanted clot would be to treat the patient with a drug that triggers the breakdown of clots in the same way as the natural substance from the blood vessel walls. Well, the difficulty has always been finding a drug that will do this without upsetting that delicate balance of the blood cl clotting system. The magic of the natural substance is that it only works at the site of the clot and it disappears once its job is done. So, can any drug be as good as the natural substance? Well, the answer in this case has got to be yes, because the new drug is the natural substance. The reason it hasn't been used before is because it's never been possible to get enough of it. But genetic engineers have taken the gene instructions for making human clot dissolving activator and implanted them into animal cells in laboratory culture like this. They can now be grown in large quantities and stimulated to produce the drug in a kind of living factory. Clinical trials must be completed to confirm that it is indeed safe and effective. But so far the results are good. Of the first 56 heart attack patients treated, in 49 cases the clot dissolved and they survived.